Look, when it comes to the stock market, when it comes to investing your money, you ain't going to be able to figure it out. You ain't going to be able to conquer the stock market. You ain't going to be able to understand why a good company with a good P ratio is not giving you the return you expected. Because it's, the stock market is not just based on the numbers. The stock market is based on emotions. People's emotions, what they feel is going to happen over and over and over and over again. That is proven right. I mean, when the public decides that something's good, it goes up. Then, if they have a bad earnings period, it goes back down, back and forth. But, if something's thought to be bad for so long, they can have a couple good earnings. They can, they can show good earnings and people will not invest in them. I mean, look how people have been with Ford. People have been so scared of Ford for so long. I mean, Ford is finally starting to move a little bit, but it's been, it's been what, well over two years since I, I bought Ford, and I've seen, I mean, I bought it since then, but I've seen it go up and down and all around, and it's, they've been making money. Um, so, you know, it, it's not, you're not going to figure it out just based on what you think is long term, what you see in the numbers. you gotta, you got to have your own opinion. But you also have to understand other people's opinions. And if you're not willing to ride it out long term before people catch on to what you're seeing and you're going to pull out your money, you're going to lose. Like The reason that I pretty much, I rarely ever lose money is because when I see shit go down, but I still believe in it, I just buy more. And I think a lot of people are too scared with their money. Like, listen, this is a stock market. If you're scared with your money, what the fuck are you doing here? If you're scared about losing money in the stock market, then you shouldn't be in the stock market. If you depend on that money, you really shouldn't be in it. Like, why would you... Is 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 essentially gambling. So why would you gamble money you need? Me, I never play with money I don't. Or I never play with money that I need. I play with... I mean, I'll play a lot of money, but... It's never any that I need. I could lose it all and be fine. And that's what gets me ahead because when I see it go down, I'll say, shit, I got to get that out. I got to take whatever I can out of there. At least I'll have something. No, I just say, fuck it. Time to buy more. I mean, there's a few occasions when shit, shit turns on you and you know it's not a good investment to keep going. That's happened. That's the only time I would ever think to pull out with a loss. Otherwise, if you are not ahead, why would you pull out? I just... That's just how it is, in my in my opinion. With the stock market, I don't get people. I don't understand people. I mean, I know a lot of people that lose money in the stock. I just, I mean, maybe it's just I'm new, newer. I mean, I've only been trading stocks for six or seven years now, but I've never, never really lost my ass. Uh, even in 2008 and 2009, I wasn't really, I was fine, so...